Blinded by the Light is a 2019 film, a British comedy drama directed by Gurinder Chada, beloved director of films such as Bend It Like Beckham and Viceroy's House. Blinded by the Light is inspired by the memoir of journalist Safraz Manzoor, who joined Chada and Paul Maida Burgess in developing the script. The film explores how after discovering the music of Bruce Springsteen changes the life of a teenager from an Asian family growing up in Luton, England, which drives and empowers him to find his own voice by finding a connection to his own life through the music and lyrics of singer-songwriter Bruce Springsteen. The film is very uplifting and you find yourself even in the theatre full of strangers dancing and singing along to well-known tracks that you may have grown up listening to. And it's just that, the fact that it's introducing it to a whole new generation through another platform, that being film. It's different to films we've recently come to love like Bohemian Rhapsody and Rocketman which are biopics. Again, it's different to fictional movies, say like A Star Is Born and Yesterday, for example. This movie differs in the sense that whilst the story is still told through the lyrics, it's a story about the inspiration and connection the lyrics and music of Springsteen can have, which highlights the idea that music and lyrics are universal. And to add another film into the mix, Blinded by the Light also made me think of an Australian film which happens to have been written by a very good friend of mine, Alex Lycos. The movie is called Alex and Eve. Be sure to watch it as yours truly has a few cameos in it. I find the comparison particularly when it comes to the relationship between the father and son, the mother and son, the brother and sister and the family all together, especially when it comes to the pressure of who you're expected to be, who you're expected to marry and the work you're expected to do as opposed to following your own dreams. I definitely recommend the film and I would watch it again in cinemas. And in my opinion, long live the boss no matter which country or what year you're born in, born to run, I absolutely loved it.